Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome to another attempt at doing a repair cafe. I've been trying to repair this toaster and I'm a bit at a loss. I saw a lot of videos online and uh, they didn't really help me much. Um, I'm gonna go through the whole thing with, uh, with this video and hopefully someone who is more used to repairing toasters might be able to give me a pro tip on how to, uh, you know, figure out what's wrong with this one. So, the thing is that this latch doesn't hold down, and uh, this latch holding down is usually how the toasters work. It's supposed to, when it's connected, uh, it's supposed to uh, hold here. So if you open it uh, on the inside, I need to take this piece off first. There you go, it comes out like that. If I open this... There's a whole lot of stuff in here. Uh, usually it's full of uh, dirt and it's a uh, good practice to clean up uh, some of these dirt that might not be uh, doing any good. So I'm going to remove the controller from the rest of the section. There we go. Uh, it's still connected with a uh, ground wire, but that's fine. So what I really wanted to show you is actually this part here. So this part is the main uh, thing and toasters can different a little bit on the way that this uh, latch here connects these two switches or, or not. Um, but they always have like a magnet and this a magnet down here and a piece of metal that connects. So the main mechanism of the, um, of the toaster is that when it goes down, this lever here uh, activates both switches on both sides and turns on the power on the whole thing and that makes the magnet uh, turn on and hold on to it and then eventually the control board which is connected to this thing will let it know when it needs to release the magnet and it springs back up and fires up the toasters uh, when they're ready so Usually the main problem that people say they have with toasters is um, these connections. This, I'm going to point with a pen so I don't put my hand in the way. Usually this magnet thing is either like with dirt or something like that. doesn't connect well with the metal thing here. So they say that you should clean this metal thing. You should clean these, these magnets. And that usually helps for the connection to be better. Uh, another thing that you can test is if the current is still going through. Uh, in my case, I did test the continuity for for the plug. It seemed to be going fine. Um, I connected, and there is power on these things here. I managed to uh, blow a fuse on my on my power cord because of it. Um, and another thing that they ask you to check is this little piece here. I'm going to remove it a little bit so you can see it a bit better. So this piece is is um, connects on both sides, this side and that side, and uh, it has, I can zoom in a little bit, it has a few has a couple like balls, slight balls that make the connection. So when the thing is down, they both go to the side and they connect on those little places. So usually what happens is that dirt accumulates in between these two things. So the dirt prevents the power from closing the circuit. And they say that a lot of the issue is that. So you're supposed to take like a file or something or a knife just the end of a screwdriver just scrape inside of these little balls here which i have done uh both sides until they're clean you have some uh, electronics cleaning fluid you can also use that whatever it's called i don't remember the exact name and make sure they are clean so that then when they connect they do have contact now i tested continuity with them latched in like i put this down make sure that they are closing and they do have continuity between each other so i know the problem is not here i tested both of them um and it still doesn't work after i've done all these things i also checked all the iron connections inside the toaster here if there's like a broken wire of some sort that might be 
you know, not uh, closing the connection. No issues. So I don't know. I also re unscrewed this board and checked all the elements inside it. Everything looked fine. There was nothing with like um, that seemed to have blown up or, or short circuited in some way. All of it looked fine. So yeah, I put it all back together. Still doesn't work. I'm at a loss. No, don't know what I should try next. I guess buy a new toaster is the right answer. Well, I do feel a bit bad because all the mechanism seems to be working just fine. Apart from the part that it doesn't work. So, so yeah, I don't want to contribute to electronic waste. Uh, but at the same time, I would like to have a working toaster, if it's at all possible. Let me connect the controller back up. So I can test it one last time, but I'm, I don't have much faith in it ever working again. And I don't know if I should sculpt it for parts or not. I guess it depends what kind of toaster we'll have next. Because uh, all these springs and things they all they're all they all seem to be in working condition i really have no clue what might be wrong with the thing uh, if i was a little more electrically inclined maybe i could figure out what's wrong with it so yeah if anyone knows anything that i should be testing in particular to you know narrow down what could be the issue maybe i'm i might need to order a specific specific replacement component or something so yeah if anyone has any ideas please let me know otherwise that's it for this video see you next time bye bye everyone take care